subscribe please just click that watermark that's throughout the video on the bottom right welcome to fast Stang 444 I am trying to start northeast of Horizon Street Scene. In this area, the roads are configured in the shape of an eagle's head, so I call this the eagle's head. I'm right at the top of the head, and potentially there could be a drop behind me and one in front of me and others in this area. I do not see or hear a drop, so I am going to move just north to the area I call up the hill. You can see how the roads are configured in the shape of an eagle's head. And I do this. I come up with these different shapes that remind me of different things to help me remember where drops are. Always start facing east. That's how the game is set up. And I have to turn around. There could have been a drop right near where I started, but there wasn't. Here's an aerial nomad. Oh, they took it. I just missed out on that. And now they're chasing me. So, let's see if I can evade them. I am going to go over here and try and jump down to this road below. That went well. Except for running into a tree. <laughs> They're hot on my tail here. And I'm familiar with this route, actually, very familiar with this route. This road leads east to west through Guanajuato. Yeah, I think I evaded them. Oh, great, and here's a Maserati. <laughs> Let's turn around, see if they're coming towards me. Still chasing? They are. Let's get into a head to head. I am. Off we go. And turn right here. They are making a fatal error of trying to go all the way through Guanajuato. So I should be able to beat them if I would not run into too many more things. <laughs> Let's see, where am I here? There's this H-shaped intersection. Come through this. Slowly veer over to the right. There are more hills and trees to the right of this route I'm on. Okay, they rage quit. They saved me having to drive all the way to the finish. I will take their aerial nomad as opposed to leveling up into an aerial nomad. And I will jump ahead. I had two more head-to-heads that I won and I wound up in a Nissan GTR which is one of my favorite cars in this game. It has near level 10 speed so this is going to be arena 3 the final arena and i am trying to get into a head to head here see i'm trying to track down this car that's ahead let's see there's multiple cars here at one oh they just got into a head to head that's a shame because i am or was heading the direction a head-to-head -head would lead so I could have continued on and beat either one of them. I don't think I noticed what the second vehicle was. I did see the one was a Lamborghini Murcielago, also a level 8, but another level 8 that has near level 10 speed. So let's repeat the process. Let's go to the perimeter of this arena. Over on the road, the highway, I guess it's called. I, I keep calling it the expressway because in the United States we call these expressways or freeways. And I guess in other parts of the world this is a highway. 
I'll pull ahead, see if I can't cross paths with them and engage in a head-to-head. -head. Success. And I should be able to beat them, even though that is a level 9. It has quicker acceleration than the Nissan GTR, the Hoonigan Focus RS RX, but it has a lower top speed. They are on the other side of the rail, so they can't try bumping me. Let's just stay in this lane. I'm very sure that the finish is in this lane. It is. Use these guardrails to slow me down so I don't go outside of the arena and have time off of my timeout bar. And I am going to decline the Hoonigan Focus RS RX. That was the only option, either to level up or take. And use this Nissan GTR in the final showdown. It has a higher top speed. Let's see, let's show you that. And you can see why I selected the Nissan GTR over the Hoonigan RS RX. And I will have a link on the top right I have every single vehicle's top speed on the expressway or highway I guess but I titled it Eliminator Cars Top Speeds on the Expressway. The point I normally leave from is a little closer to the stream on the far eastern edge of the bridge so I'm a little farther away from where I normally would leave from. I'll insert this map here. This is Arena 3. The range of time to leave is 22 to 26 seconds and that range of time is for level 10 cars. So. I am farther away from where I normally leave and I am not in a level 10 car so I will leave at say 30 seconds and I may have to adjust my speed on the way to my exit. Head to heads complete! Get ready for the final showdown! Final showdown begins in 30 seconds! Here's my only competition, a Lamborghini Murcielago. I could tell I was early on the way to the exit, so I slowed down and I crossed paths with this Ford Bronco Level 7, who is not a factor. I think they might have been trying to ram. You can see I'm just kind of maintaining my speed through here. I want to make sure I don't make the fatal error of leaving early. Final showdown in three, two, one, go! The finish is this direction. It's hard to see it in the clouds into the sun. There's no need for me to open up the map. It looks like the finish is right on the expressway, or highway, depending on what you like to call it. Please congratulate the Eliminator! This was a good win in a game where I almost was eliminated right at the start by that aerial nomad. I'll jump mid-game into this where I'm driving around into birdie. And you can see where this arena wall and the next arena wall touch around the aerodroma. 
that tells me the final arena will be arena 14 or 15. One of the arenas that is just south of the lake around the aerodrome. So I will drive around looking at these drops. There potentially are some drops over this direction. Uh, sometimes there's two over right there. And there could be, I think it's four across the expressway. So right there I should have gone to the right, right of that bridge, but I go right under it. Arena, I know better. Um, but I zigzag through there. There isn't anyone around that is sniping people. So what do we have here? Five Maserati, level five Maserati. <laughs> I will take one of them. This is actually a faster level five. It has the highest road speed of all level fives. Wow, this is like all level fives here and the Bronco R I think is the slowest top speed of all the level five so I did well finding this Maserati. Let's start heading over this direction and see if I can't engage him head to head. I may just pause over here and wait for this arena to shrink because potentially there could be a drop right on this ramp and then two other drops. But right after I park, here comes a car behind me. What are they in? Oh, they are in a Jeep Trailcat. Let's get on the road and engage. We're in a head-to-head. -head. These are actually two closely matched vehicles, I think. Their top speeds are very close on the expressway. The Trailcat has a faster acceleration rate. I'm trying to bump and slow them down to no avail. I am going to start heading over the direction of the finish. They're staying on the road. I think that is going to be a error. Oh, they are coming over now late. I'm trying to follow along roughly the line of these electrical lines, these electrical power towers. It's a flatter line here. They're over to the right going across the hill. Now they zigzag behind me, following this line. I should be able to beat them. Me taking this route was the difference. I will be able to take this Jeep Trailcat. I took the Jeep Trailcat with hopes of getting in one or two more head-to-heads and getting into a higher level car that didn't happen and I should have taken the Audi RS7 it has a higher top speed so I'll jump ahead where I am getting in position for the final showdown Because there is a level 10 Hoonigan RS200, I am considering going north, trying to influence the finish through Muleg, north towards the volcano, but that will change and I will show you why. Normally where I leave from is east of this intersection near the bend in the road. And I'll show you this map where I normally would leave from, but I am on the road that heads north. And I would go through Muleg on this route trying to influence the finish. There is a Funko F9 level 10 and a RJ Anderson Pro 2 truck level 8. They both look like they are heading north, so I will take an abrupt right turn, head the normal direction of my exit east. Final 
showdown in three, two, one. The Hoonigan RS-200 left early and self-eliminated themselves from this game. When I exit, I go to the left across the stream. I'll be left of that bridge and in line of this angled road. And the finish looks like it may be in the direction of the volcano. Maybe at the base of the volcano. I'll see a little better as I get closer. Going right at this electrical power tower. I want to be on this road. There are some buildings on the left I avoid on this line. And the solar panels are on the right. I could go through those if I wanted, but there's no need to. Now the next area I am going through is the lava field. There are roads that are configured in the shape of a bird actually going through the neck and then through the left wing kind of around the middle of the wing is a good route and next beyond this bird shape configuration of roads this intersection ahead if I go through the southeast corner it's a clear route I think it's a clear route all the way to the finish from here. I'll be able to win this in a Jeep Trailcat. This is a rare win in this vehicle, especially considering there was a Funko F9 in this final showdown. Winner! Welcome to the Eliminati! I will jump into this game where I am getting in position for the final showdown. This is the point I like to leave from on the edge of the woods and line up that dirt road that angles northwest. Head to heads complete! Get ready for the final showdown! Final showdown begins in 30 seconds! This is Arena 6. The range of time to leave is 18 to 20 seconds. I will leave at the maximum 20 seconds. Straight ahead. Watch out for a few random trees through here. The next thing I'm looking at on this route is highlighted in blue as a dirt road that crosses the stream. This is a flat route, although I want to be to the right of that. There are some trees on the left there I avoid on this line. Now the next point I'm looking at is this road that's to the right there. If I go just left of that, I avoid a pond that is on the left there. And I will angle over to the right going east of Horizon Street scene. I need to angle a little farther to the right. There's a row of three sheds on this line I want to avoid. There they are. And it should be a clear route over to the finish from here on out. It is. What a perfectly clean run to the finish this was. Winner! Welcome to the Illuminati! Now add that link on the top right for Eliminator Cars Top Speeds on the expressway that I promised. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Just click that link on the bottom right and help me out. I'm trying to get my channel to grow.